In this video, we're going to talk about dividing a polynomial by a monomial. So, if you recall, when I take 3 sevenths plus 2 sevenths, I can rewrite that as one fraction where I add the numerators, but I keep the denominator exactly the same. So in this particular case, my answer here is 5 sevenths. But what I would like to be able to do now is when I see something like 3 plus 2 divided by 7, to know that I can separate them into two fractions, 3 sevenths plus 2 sevenths. Well, I can do something similar with polynomials also. All right, so let's simplify. So what I would like to do is to separate them into two fractions. And then I'm going to simplify each fraction. 12 divided by 4 is 3 with the x. And 4 divided by 4 is 1 times y is y. So in general then, if a, b, and c are monomials and c does not equal 0, then a plus b divided by c is the same thing as a divided by c plus b divided by c. OK, so let's determine each quotient. Because I only have one term in the denominator, I can separate them. Six divided by two is three. When you divide exponents with the same base, you subtract the powers. Four minus one, that's three, so that's m cubed. And two m divided by two m, that is one, not zero. OK, let's take a look at the next example. Because the denominator is a monomial, I can separate this into three different fractions. Now, what I will do here is put y to the 0, because there's no variables of y. And I will put x to the 0 here, because there's no variables of x. OK. So negative 14 thirds. Dividing the x's, you get x to the first. Here it's 0 minus 1, that is negative 1. Negative divided by a negative is a positive. 12 divided by 3 is 4. x divided by x is 1, so they divide out. y divided by y, that is 1, so they divide out. Negative divided by a negative is a positive. 3 divided by 3 is 1 x to the 0 divided by x to the first, that's x to the negative first. And y squared divided by y to the first is y. So the last thing I need to do here is to simplify the negative exponents. So negative 14x is going to stay in the numerator. 3 stays in the denominator. And because y has a negative exponent power, that goes to the denominator. 4 stays the same. y will stay in the numerator. And because x has a negative exponent power, that goes to the denominator. You don't need to worry about finding an LCD and adding these fractions. You're done here. OK, one other example I want to take a look at. Notice again, your denominator is a monomial, so I can separate these. So let me write this out now. OK, now let's simplify each part. So 14 and negative 4, I can divide out a common factor of 2. So that's negative 7 halves. Dividing out the x's, that leaves me with 1. And that's y to the first. Negative divided by a negative is a positive. 8 divided by 4 is 2. x divided by x squared, that's x to the negative first. And y cubed divided by y cubed is 1, so they divide out. 24 divided by negative 4 is negative 6 x cubed divided by x squared is x, and y squared divided by y cubed is y to the negative first. Okay. So then from here, the last step is to simplify the negative exponents. So negative 7 halves y stays the same. 2 stays in the numerator because it has a positive exponent power of 1. The x moves to the bottom. The 6 and the x remain in the numerator, and the y is in the denominator here. 